Hi, my name is Philip Day from the Campaign for Truth in Medicine. And as many of you know, our mission around the world has been to get everybody to start looking after themselves better and avoid getting sick in the first place. But there's a tremendous amount we can do ourselves if we are sick. One area that has been missed out in all of the uh, uh, amazing information that's been coming out about uh, diet is, of course, water. And most of us are not getting the two liters a day that we do require. Many of us will drink four pints of Guinness and go, well, that's my water intake for the day. But this, these types of fluids and the custom beverages is everything from Nesquik to Red Bull is not giving the body water in the format that it needs. So it's important that we're getting two liters of good clean water every day. One of my favorite books, uh, many of you have it, is by uh, an Iranian doctor, Water and Salt, Your Healers from Within. And uh, this chap has spent most of his professional life examining the effects of water or lack of it on the human body. And it's an amazing read. It shows that many of the illnesses or many of the uh, baggage that some of you carry around for years on end can be because your body is in a, a drought management position and is having to cut back and so you get symptoms. Now one of the best ways of getting water into the body is of course to drink it but also to eat high water content veggies and we deal with that in, uh, in many of our books. For now though what I want to talk about today is a good inexpensive filtration system which in my view gets the job done. There are some cheap filters on the market that are basically activated charcoal. They will remove the chlorine but they won't remove a lot of the other problems associated with water supplies around the world. Uh, for instance fluoride trihalomethanes, estrogens, nitrates, and a whole host of other problems, even bacterial contamination, cryptosporidium poisoning, and all the rest of it. We need a filter that's able to get down and really take out the fine particles and deliver good clean water, 20 to 40 parts per million. And uh, this, of course, is reverse osmosis. Now, reverse osmosis, there are, of course, more expensive filters on the market. You can go up to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 pounds uh, for a filter to do the whole house. Why I like reverse osmosis is because uh, these filters will get in and produce good, consistent, clean water at a fraction of what it would cost you to buy Evian or any of those other bottled waters. And those other bottled waters, by the way, have been bottled for quite some time. They do have quite a high mineral content, but a lot of that mineral content uh, is non-ionized, so it cannot be used by the body. So it's essentially ground up rock, which your body has to deal with. With reverse osmosis, what we're able to do is to remove not only obvious problems, like the fluorides that are put into the water and uh, other hormones especially, uh, but we're also able to uh, clean the water up with a lot of other contaminants as well. Now, the systems we do um, retail for about uh, 250 uh, pounds uh, UK. Uh, a lot of the comparable units sell for over 500 pounds. Uh, we get these units specially made in Germany. They're excellent and they're easy to put in. So uh, this short film is really all about reverse osmosis and uh, how to install them and the tests that you can do. It's very straightforward and uh, I'm going to hand you over to somebody who knows a little bit more about this than I do. Uh, Credence Publications, Philip Smart. <laughs>